A few days ago, the air compressor belt just gave up on me. So today I'm going to be replacing the three belts in the engine. The vacuum pump, AC compressor belt, and the serpentine belt. Let's get to it. So in order to get access to the serp serpentine belt, which is right here, I'm going to remove this cover, which is very simple. It's just uh, removing this bolt and these two connections, right here and right here as well as this one. That one too. Doors, I believe you just press up and pull backward. Yep. Press down and pull back. All right, let's see if I can wiggle this out. This is it. Let's check this out. Now, full access to the uh, serpentine belt and the AC compressor, which, as you can see, there is no belt because it was broken. And also, pay attention how the serpentine belt is routed through the uh, pulleys and tensioners, so you can do exactly the same when put it all together. But it's very straightforward. So I'm doing the uh, serpentine belt is the easiest one. Just use a half inch socket and pull toward the passenger side to release the tension, like so. It's not very hard, but I'm going to use just a tear bar to make it a little bit easy. But you see, pull and this will come out. That simple. And the belt is out. Yeah, everything seems tight. Nothing is squeaking. So, so far so good. And in my case, since the uh, belt broke and it spawned on the uh, pulley, um, there's some small residue here. So I'm gonna clean it up as best as I can. And with a pick, I'm gonna try to clean all the channels because there is some melted rubber just to make sure that the new one is gonna have a good traction. So the next step, once I have removed the uh, serpentine belt and the uh, AC belt, which was broken, um, I'm gonna remove the skip plate so I can have access to the vacuum pump belt. All right, let's see what we have here. right here these are vacuum pump belt I'm gonna keep cleaning a little bit more down this pulley so in order to remove the uh, vacuum pump belt you can do a couple of things the easiest one is just cut it if you can install a new one um, but I'm gonna show you another way to remove a stretch belt which is this one and the AC compressor belt in order to remove the vacuum pump belt and the AC compressor belt uh, I need to be able to rotate the engine the crankshaft so I'm gonna be using a three inches long uh, extension and a 24 millimeter socket. And what I do is just put it here, in the, in the end, crank up end and just crank it. So from the bottom looks something like this. And as I rotate the crank shop, the vacuum pump pulley rotates as well. So if you don't want to cut the belt, uh, the way is just to try to derail it. So while it's turning the crankshaft, just pull and uh, it should come out of the pulley. So let's give it a try. Okay, I'm pulling and turning the crankshaft at the same time. I think it's working. Here we go. So 
so the bell is coming out in one piece so now that the three belts are out i'm going to go all the way back and then going to install the vacuum pump belt first second is going to be the air compressor and last one is going to be the serpentine belt all right so i'm going to put the vacuum pump belt what i'm going to do next is i'm going to use a zip tie like so all right so the idea is that as i spin the crankshaft the uh, bell should be getting in place so let's see if, if this is working just making sure that Just checking also behind the uh, behind the uh, crankshaft pulley to make sure that it's also in place. Almost there, almost there. There we go, all the way in. So I'm gonna cut the uh, zip tie. And I'm also checking behind, make sure that it went into the groove, which it did. All right, one in, let's go for the air conditioning one. Let me show you the setup here. Belt is in the air compressor pulley and in the crankshaft pulley from the inside. So I run it all the way inside and the lip is kind of like going inside. Don't do it from the outside because it's not gonna work. belt all the way in okay next the serpentine belt which wraps around the uh, crankshaft pulley comes behind this pulley just to make this easier i'm going to be using the cheater bar again all right the belt is where it has to be That's it. This is it. Sitting there correctly, correctly, down here too, around here too. Well, they are all working. Okay, now I'm going to box up everything together. There, go here. Connector one, two. All right, job completed. Remember, don't be like me. Every 100,000 miles, change all three belts. Thank you for watching.